here we go. So flip over to the YouTube channel um, because I am about to share my screen and go over this particular case study that um, that I want to talk about, this story I want to talk about. So here's where the story starts. My name, main area, which many of you that have been listening to the podcast will know, is an area called Edina in the state of Minnesota, which is where I reside. Edina is one of the key pockets that I do my infill development projects in. It's a very luxury pocket. So we do a lot of projects where we do major remodels. We do what we call a pop the top where we take off uh, the roof or a partial second story, which is called a half story. And we add a full second story or we go as far as to tear the entire house down and build a brand new house. And that is the story I'm going to tell you about today. So how do I get started executing the drive for dollar strategy? <laughs> it's real simple. You get in your car and you drive the neighborhoods and the streets that you want to acquire homes on. And that's exactly what I've been doing for the last 12 years that I've been working in the Edina market. I've been driving streets and I've been literally typing, hand typing the addresses as I drive by the houses that I want to purchase in the future. And how do I do this? I create a spreadsheet in Google Docs. And on that spreadsheet, I type in the addresses. Now I have it categorized out and I don't really want to share these addresses or my spreadsheet on, um, on my YouTube page uh, because it's private information and I just don't feel like it's right. I feel like I need to keep it confidential. Um, the other thing that I wanted to let you guys know too in the strategy I'm not going to be sharing is I'm not going to be sharing a, the specific number um, of dollars or profit that I made on this particular transaction. Because again, I feel like it's not fair to the people and the co clients that I work with. Um, but I can tell you that I will share some numbers on profits that I have made and you're just going to have to take my word for it. So again, I am driving down streets in Edina. I am writing the addresses down of homes that I'm literally looking out my window of and saying, man, I can see how I can do this type of project or that type of project. And I already know what the profit margin is because I've either done it before or if it's my first deal, I've crunched the numbers and I've created a case study based on other projects that I know are going on in the neighborhood and the research that I have done. So I have a pretty good formula that I believe is profitable. And this particular property that I'm sitting in front of in my car, writing down the address, on a Google spreadsheet, I'm going to send them a letter. And here we go, here is the letter. Okay, Janice is the actual person who owned the property that I'm going to show you. You can see the address, 58, 100 block of the Kellogg. Okay, this is the exact sample. Now it's not the exact letter obviously, but it's an exact sample of the letter that I sent. Now, I will not be showing you the letter that they pull out because you know what? We're gonna be creating a program that you guys can grab down the road that will show you the letter and everything that I put into that letter because there's some magic sauce in that letter. And I just don't feel like it's the best approach to just hand that away. I feel like if you really want something, the magic sauce, you know what? I want to create a great program so that you can execute this strategy to a T and actually get results. But today, I just want to give you a general 30,000 foot view of the approach. So you saw the letter or the envelope. You saw the letter that I put in there. Now, you didn't get to read it. You didn't get to see it. But I want to show you the results of that letter. So here we go. I'm going to share my page and this was Janice's response. So what I do is in that letter, there's obviously contact information. Janice decided that she wanted to reach out and touch me. And so this is what she sent. And if again, if you're on the YouTube channel, you can read literally the proof verbatim on a voicemail that Janice left me, which says, 
Hi, Tim. This is Janice Richardson. Here's my number. I live on Kellogg Avenue in Edina, and I received a letter from you a few months ago saying, you know, you know, inquiring or saying, and then again, this got messed up because it was a, a voice text, inquiring if anyone be, would be interested in selling my property. I am considering posting my property on the market. So I don't know if you're in the position to purchase my property over the next few months. Anyways, just kind of high level inquiry, the address 5832 Kellogg, which is the actual address that I mailed to. If you want to, you know, look up any particulars about it and give me a call. Now, again, this is literally the voice text. It's kind of scrambled. It's kind of messed up, but this is for real. I wanted you guys to see this because if you're like me, prove it, like prove that this works. And this is about as much proof as I can give you that I got, she reached out and she said, Hey, if you're interested, call me. And that's exactly what I did. Now I documented this on my company website, ground up development, which is ground up development.com. And you can go there and you can read about the story. And all you have to do is go to properties and go down to 5832 Kellogg Ave. And that is the webpage that we're looking at right now if you're on the YouTube channel. So this is the property that I ended up acquiring. Now I have meet the owner. I've told the story and you will see a picture of the existing property. Now this existing property, I paid $400,000 for actually 399,000. She wanted me to pay over 400, but I refused. I was firm at under $400,000. But if you are looking at this picture, you're going to laugh because I couldn't even believe at the time that I was willing to pay $400,000 for this particular property. So I sent this letter to Janice. Janice responded back and she said, Hey, will you come over and tell me about your process? I'm really considering selling the home. And that's exactly what I did is I set up a meeting after Janice had reached out to me again through my contact information I showed up to this house and I talked to Janice and part of the strategy is the delivery. You're going to hear about a lot of these different strategies that we're going to give you for finding your first deal or finding deals. And it really comes down to the delivery of your message and what you can provide that homeowner. So when I walked in the door, I said, hi, Janice, thank you for inviting me to your home. I really appreciate that you reached out to me and responded to my letter. I definitely want to help you out. What can I do to help you? And Janice gave me her story and told me that she was been living in this house for a, an extended period of time, years and years. It's a great house. Love the neighborhood, love the location, but it's just time for me to move. And I'm thinking about quitting my job and I'm thinking about moving on with my life. And so she said, I'm ready to sell. Now, how does this process work? I know I could list the house. I know that I could hire a real estate agent and I know that I could go through that whole process, but my house, you know, is in a little bit rougher shape. I haven't really done a ton of updates and I would rather just get this done quickly and move on. And so what I told her was, here are your different options. And at that point, I go over the different options. I disclosed to her, I'm a real estate agent, but I disclosed to her as well that my main priority is not to come in here as a real estate investor and take advantage of you. There's plenty of guys out there doing that. I want to be different. I want to help you. And I want you to know that I can help you improve this property and we can put it on the market and we can try to reap the most amount of money for it. She said, Tim, <laughs> have you looked around lately? All you see on the street are homes being torn down and new homes being built. Why would I do that? I said, well, it probably wouldn't be the best strategy, but I wanted to give you your option. And she said, no, that doesn't really make any sense to me. And I think I can get as much or more money by just putting it out there and having someone like you buy it. And I said, you know what? You're probably right. And so she said, well, what will you do as a builder developer? What will you offer me? And I gave her my offer because I knew what the offer was because I know that market because I bought multiple properties on that street. And so I said, here's what I would offer you. And it was $400,000. And she said, you know what, Tim, that seems like a fair price. So let me do a little homework and let me get back to you. 
And when I decide to make a move, uh, you will be the first one to call. A little bit of, you know, this, I'm paraphrasing this. Obviously, I was sitting there for a little bit longer than the five minutes I just went over. But at the end of the day, that's exactly what happened is that she decided to sell this house to me and we moved on and we built this home. So this home is a brand new construction home that we cre- we were going to initially build as a spec and we ended up building to suit because once we got the house framed, we had a buyer that came up to us and said, hey, we love your design, we love what you're doing and we want to purchase this property from you. And again, you can go through the story if you visit the page, which is 5832kelloggav.com and you can read the rest of the story. Long story short, this particular property that we built, we sold for over $1.4 million. The profit on this was significant. It was well worth my time to drive the neighborhood, my time and energy and expense to mail the letter, my time to show up to the house and have a great conversation with Janice and have her feel comfortable with me and select me as the person that she wants to sell the home to. You guys, this is a short story about how you drive for dollars and how you make big profits.